Look, dirty fingers. What about green fingers? the garden again, haven't been out here for a while, although I've been watering the plants and earthing up and stuff like that. I've actually done a bit of work today, I've been transplanting the cucumbers and also the runner beans out into the actual garden, so uh, let me sh I'll show you what I've done there in a minute, but what I've also done is I've transplanted the, the peppers, if you remember, the little bell peppers that I had uh, in that little tub there, I've actually put them now into a larger container and hoping they're going to take off. And if you remember the cucumbers, I had the two lots of trays of cucumbers here, which as I say, that's what I've utilised for the uh, peppers now. But what I also had, when I, when I initially started growing the cucumbers, I had them in one of these little things, as I said to you. And the ones that took off, obviously took off. But then out of, the, out of the other one of these I had left, two little ones come up afterwards, and this is them here. So I put them in the whole trough there. So they've got a whole trough to play with there. I don't know how big they're going to get or what's going to happen, but I've watered them in. But this, these were planted at the same time, and these are the cucumbers that was in, as I say, one of these troughs there. I've only put them in this so that I can actually, I don't know how tall they're going to grow, and um, whether or not I've got trellis for them to go up, but um, I've bought some cheap trellis over here. This is only 199 this sort of opens up concertina. And I'm hoping that if I can put this near a deck in, and possibly stand this behind it and maybe train them up there, I'm not sure yet, so I've never done this before, so that's that's what I'm hoping for. These are only $1.99 down um, a factory warehouse shop, so I've got three of these. Now I've started buying the materials for my polytunnel. Um, there's different ways, I've been looking for scaffold poles, six foot scaffold poles for literally an age, and I've been looking on eBay and I can't find them anywhere, plus locally. It just so happens that at one of the auctions I visit, this was, I forgot I had these, I had these aluminium poles, which are 40 millimeter in um, diameter, and I think the scaffold poles are 50 mil or something like that. Not, not far off 50 mil in diameter, so they're they're probably about that tall. So I can knock sort of two and a half foot into the ground. But I've done a little test run with the poles, and I had some old uh, waste water pipe, which again isn't the right size. But I thought I'll just mock it up and um, see how, how high or how much space the polytunnel would possibly take up. So let me show you that now, what I've just done as a little test, little test run. Well, as you can see, barn is here again. But um, if you can see down there now, what we've got there is two um, of these aluminium poles I was telling you about, stuck in the ground. I think they're just over three metres apart. There's probably about 3.2 metres apart there. And um, all I've done is I hide this waste water pipe which I, again I bought from auction year, well about a year and a half ago, something like that, and it's just sat there doing nothing. So I've just literally, I haven't fixed it because funny enough they're both the same diameter, let me show you. This water pipe is a 40 mil outside diameter, and so are these actual aluminium pipes that I bought, so I've only just taped it on there for the moment. But um, as you can see, there will be plenty of headroom for, for me, so I'm hoping to get sort of one, maybe one there, one, the two, three, four, and maybe five to take me up to probably where that shovel is there. So if I just stand back, I haven't measured it yet, as I say, but you can have quite a nice long uh, polytunnel there. So I've, I've, what I've ordered is um, 25 metres of that pipe there, but the one I've ordered will be blue pipe. So I've actually ordered that. I've got the poles, as I said to you. Again, I've had them all along, but um, I, I forgot I had these aluminium poles. So I think the unit's going to be rigid enough. Anyway, as I say, 40 mil seems to be okay. So that's just a test run there. And I've actually built this little raised bed here for the moment because, um, again, I needed to get the runner beans out. And can you see what Barn is doing? Look, every time I was here, and when I start doing a bit of gardening, he starts, there he goes, look, I think he's going to start pulling the weeds up. Look, where is it? Fetch it. Fetch it. Do your gardening. He's here all the time, and he starts pulling weeds up normally, but um, he has been running through there, and 
my visions of him was pulling at these, so I don't know if you can see that I've actually had to put a net around it for the moment, so um, that's just to protect it from Barney rather than the actual insects. He's more of a threat than the insects at the moment. So, yeah, I mean, I've I only had three of them bean runner beans come up. So that's the first one in the corner there. There's that second one, the little tiny one. And there's the third one there at the front. So I'm hoping that they're going to actually... I'm going to try and train them up the poles. But because I had lots more space in there, I've actually planted the other lot of cucumbers. Those in over there are the actual other little cucumbers there. So that is a mixture of peat and actually the actual soil that was... Um, not peat, sorry. Compost and the actual soil that was under there. I've been digging it out of there and like, putting it in there. So the net's only there temporary. Well, as you can see, the potatoes now are fully earthed up and they've come on a treat now, so we're hoping to have a good crop of potatoes. They've really taken off and really established in these buckets, so I'm well pleased with this idea. And as I say, there's no uncomfortable digging out of the ground when we actually come to harvest them. All you do is lift them up by the handles. I've got a tarpaulin or whatever I'll be laying out here somewhere, tipping it out and just rooting the potatoes through. So, you know, hopefully that's what we're going to be doing there. So yeah, still loads and loads of work to do, but I mean, I had to get something in the ground, and I can't wait to get this polytunnel up. I'm going to need to actually remove this cover, as you probably know, and I'm still going to have to level out all that ground over there, which you can see. Um, I probably will need one more bonfire, so before I put the final two hoops up or whatever, I'll have to have a little bonfire there or something, just to get rid of all the... Um, I've just covered it up down the end there, so yeah, there we go. So as I say, hoping to get this done, we're in, um, just started September now, so I'm obviously hoping to get this up uh, within the next month, definitely within the next month anyway, because I want to start putting stuff in and growing stuff in there over the Christmas period as well, so, um, and getting ready for next spring. But it is a lot of backbreaking work. My main problem is at the moment is where all these weeds have established themselves in the earth here is actually breaking up the network of roots and get, get out of there! Yeah, even now that he's trying to put his foot on that um, netting, just had to tell him off there. That's what I say, if I didn't have that net in there, he would tread all them down. I can actually see why people get attached to their root uh, garden and whatever, when people pull or trample on their flowers. And I can actually see that now, I can understand it now. I never did understand it before, but as I say, now when you actually grow something from seed, you do get a little bit of protective over it. So, as I say, these are my little babies at the moment, and I've brought these on literally from seed, as you've seen and uh, we're hoping they're going to provide some good eating for the coming months anyway. I've also started a tray of salad in the... Um... Oh, that's what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. In fact, I'm going to do that in a minute. Bear with me. Bear with me. Wait there. In fact, I'll just show you this. This actually I planted about four days ago, three to four days ago. Now, this was one of those little mixed salad leaf propagator kits that I brought from the, from the auction. So. As you can see, they're a bit wavy at the moment. The reason being is because every time you come up in the morning, get up in the morning, they're leaning over and facing the light coming in through the window. So I just turn them around the other way, and then they bend the other way. So that's what's been happening here. Now I've probably got to. Um, what I might do actually, I might have pl plant these in a, a grow bag. So I think I'll do that now. I'll just put these in a grow bag because I've got a, a thing that, um, like a net which I bought, which you can put over the top of these. So yeah, I'm going to do that now. Now. Again, I've never actually done this before. I've never grown anything in a grow bag, so um, it's all new to me. All I know is, is that I've got a hell of a lot of um, these uh, salad leaves here. They are mixed salad leaves, by the way, apparently. So um, obviously, I've got to gain entry into the um, grow bag. So I'll probably, what I'll do is probably end up just cutting a, a channel out of it. And oh, okay, there we go. Again, so I'm not too really too sure on how to do this. So. Um, Rock hard, I don't obviously need to. Okay, so there we go. Now, actually transferring these to the um, grow bag is uh, 
the task I've got in hand, so I'm going to probably do them in little clumps, I would imagine, I don't know. There's absolutely loads of them. Very delicate little... I'll just put a little drop on that propagator there just in case there are a few more seeds that are going to come up. But uh, yeah, there we go. That is the salad now sown. Now I'm probably going to leave this outside, it's not cold at all outside uh, at the moment, so um, I'm hoping they're going to be okay there. So there we go, that's the salad leaf now sown. So I'm going to go in now and have a cup of tea. Join me again in the next video. Thanks very much for watching and see you later.